Chapel Park, we have looked at the early years of our railways in Britain. You will remember that the world's first passenger steam railway was Britain's Stockton and Darlington Railway, which opened in 1825. By 1923, there are many hundreds of railway companies, which were all grouped into four big railway companies. Then, after the Second World War, these four became British Railways, and later became British Rail. By the early 1960s, everyone agreed that steam was old technology and that diesel, diesel electric, overhead electric or third rail electric was the way forward. A diesel locomotive uses an engine, much like you have in a car, to directly power driving wheels, normally through a fluid coupling. Fluid couplings are used because the torque required to pull a heavy load is extremely high and the fluid coupling allows some slippage. This type of power is normally only used by low speed shunters and lightweight multiple units. In a diesel electric locomotive, the diesel engine drives an electrical generator which provides the power to the driving motors. There is no mechanical connection between the engine and the wheels. They can haul extremely heavy loads such as passengers, expresses and heavy goods trains. Third rail electric power was the first all electric system to be developed. It is an easy system for train designers but has a major disadvantage which is that the third rail is live and potentially lethal. The majority of the third rail locomotives are lightweight multiple units, most exclusive of which the Boyton Bell Pullman and its more modern counterpart with fast acceleration and pollution free operation. Overhead electric locomotives need even more line side infrastructure with gantries to hold the power cables every 100 to 200 metres. However, because the sideline is above the track, it is not so immediately dangerous. And for this reason, it is chosen for the new tracks including the British High Speed 1 track for Eurostar. Good luck for us today as we can sit back and enjoy the rest of our journey. Back to the studio.